Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about oil. Oil continues to consolidate, which rather confirms my interpretation here that um, we are yeah, basically pushing higher here, that we might have changed trend when we turned around here on the 20th of March. Um, after this gap here, it did give you a trend reversal area to push higher. It did, um, not massively though. And we have a possible five wave move to the upside. I can already count this wave one as complete. That would be my alternative, my alt count, yeah, alternate one. So I'm actually going to put that onto the chart now because it could be that this is already in. I would, however, very much prefer that it pushes higher and takes out more clearly previous resistance before we consolidate or correct down in a wave two. Yeah, so obviously it depends on it depends on uh, where that wave two will, uh, where that wave one will end to give you a wave two target. So again, the message is we have enough waves to con to count an impulse complete, because I can count the move up here as leading diagonal as a wave one, then a wave two, a three, four, five complete, or as a one two one two setup. They're just different interpretations. You now just need to see what the market is doing. What I can tell you is that. As long as we are holding a certain level, we can push higher directly. And I will give you now this particular um, level in this video. So this support area is irrelevant. We don't need that one anymore. Yeah. But what we can now measure is um, setback area for this fourth wave. So I'm not telling you it will definitely hold. But what I will do is if we are holding it, then we have some clarity that there is one more way up in a wave five, circle wave five. So let me just adjust that. So you can see these areas are partially overlapping. So, so in this particular count, um, Ideally, we do not break below 7988. Uh, if we hold 7988 on the way down now, um, when we consolidate, yeah, then I would go with, okay, one more high here in a fifth wave of wave one. What happens if wave one is already in? Well, then we will probably get a bit of a deeper setback in a wave two. This, however, would not take us down much further necessarily. So you will also here have a partial overlap between the different, um, counts so in a wave two we should come down into this region between 7890 or 7880 and 7380 so between 7380 and 7880 so these are two areas that are relevant i will highlight this one in yellow just to highlight it's a different one and it's one that's relevant for the for a wave two so basically for the larger degree um if you have two, so obviously you don't know which one is it going to be when we come back into this area, um, is orange going to hold or yellow? In these situations, when we have this situation, sometimes it is just what it is that you don't know if is it going to be wave four or wave two. You always have to prepare for different scenarios anyway. I would always trade for the lower one, yeah? Which doesn't mean you couldn't start to scale. If you wanna trade that long, you couldn't start to scale in here. Yes, you can, but just keep it smaller because the stop loss is further away because you don't want to set the stop loss here, ideally not, at least I wouldn't personally, because then if it breaks and finds support at 7880 at the next support area just rallies. So from that point of view, these are the scenarios I'm watching. Ideally, ideally I would only like a shallow pullback in four and then rally higher in five to take out more clearly previous resistance before we then come back, okay? So very, very important. Um, but yeah, either way, I mean, the, the, the primary one is the one I personally prefer. And also that the one that I see more likely because we at the moment only have a, a shallow pullback so far. So that's fine. Um, and there is not much more to add, I think. Obviously the yellow box, I have to adjust targets, should be pushed a little bit higher. Yeah, and I will have to adjust targets for the pullback area. But for me, it, it is quite likely that the trend has shifted now because we did come into this long-term trend reversal area here that was formulated a year ago um, between 76 and basically $42, yeah. Correcting this very long wave one, which emerged between March, 2020 and March, 22. So that is um, Brent crude. Let's also take a look at WTI. 
the overall scenario is the same so i won't really talk about the overall scenario but we can talk about the levels yeah also here you can see um, that trend reversal area did hold and now however we might come back in this larger in this larger uh, fourth wave yeah in circle wave four basically Do something like that yeah and what would be the target for circle wave four so again we take here the support area relevant for a fourth wave here we talk about the area between 73.54 and 77 dollars doesn't mean it has to get there it would be likely to get there but it doesn't have to it would be likely it would be the preferred scenario to get into this region and then turn around now, if it doesn't turn around there, then again, we've got the alternate wave one scenario that wave one actually already topped here at the last swing high, um, which was at 83.50. And then we're coming down here in wave two. I actually need to change the wave degree of this particular one. So, yeah. Again, also here, I would prefer to take out these previous swing highs here on the left-hand side, around $82, before we consolidate in a wave two. But let the market decide. Now in an alternate wave one scenario that we already peaked in wave one, again, we're gonna put here the yellow um, support box on the chart. These are overlapping here on this chart. So here we've got the um, wave two support area between 68.55 and $74. Again, that will shift depending on how high wave one will go eventually. All right, that's my update about um, oil. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.